Selena Gomez's BFF Raquel Stevens finally addresses documentary backlash. Looks like we've gotten a better look at Selena Gomez's personal life. On August 17, 2022, dedicated Selenators stumbled across a database that revealed the 30-year-old star had a documentary in the works. The documentary of her left many fans looking at her lifelong best friend, Raquel Stevens. Following its release on November 4th, 2022, Stevens received backlash after a brief confrontation. She has been quiet about the heat, but recently broke her silence on the subject. Keep watching today's video as we're going to tell you about Selena Gomez's BFF Raquel Stevens' response to documentary backlash. But before we discuss more about it, please make sure that you press that red subscribe button along with the tiny bell icon to enter into our monthly shout out giveaway. Just comment down below saying I subscribed. We will enter you into the giveaway. Selena made the official announcement about my mind and me with an Instagram post on September 8th, 2022. Want to hear a part to my story, My Mind and Me, coming soon to at Apple TV Plus, the Calm Down singer wrote in her caption. The one hour and 35 minute documentary showcased her struggles with anxiety, depression, her past relationship with Justin Bieber, and more. The documentary is a raw look at mental health, pulling back the curtain of fame to reveal a young woman who is actively working on her complicated relationship with loving and accepting herself. While many wondered why she didn't honor Francia Reza, who donated her kidney during lupus treatment, others called her best friend Raquel Stevens controlling. Now Selena Gomez's close friend Raquel Stevens means something fans don't know. Three months after the release of the singer's My Mind and Me documentary, which features footage of Selena's friendship with the Sunshine Mind author, Raquel is finally responding to the criticism. In the documentary, Gomez doesn't want to go to her best friend's birthday dinner because she wants to rest before shooting a music video. This leads Stevens to say that Gomez seemed unhappy in her job. Do you think I'm complaining about my job? Gomez asked. The artist eventually gets up and removes herself from the conversation. Stevens appeared on the Chicks in the Office podcast where she talked about the backlash, saying her integrity got her through it. Anytime you do something public in life, you're subject to opinions of other people. She told co-hosts Ufo and Francesca Moreno. As she noted, it was her life story, and part of what was included in that documentary was our friendship, which is special and it's honest, and it's real. Shortly after the film was released in November 2022, Raquel faced criticism from fans online who called the author dismissive and controlling during their interactions. But for Raquel, her connection to Selena goes beyond what fans have seen. I think what it's a good reminder of is, that when people are scrolling through Instagram or they're scrolling through TikTok or you're watching a documentary, you're getting a small glimpse into someone's life. You're not seeing the full picture, she continued. And the truth is, we've had a friendship for the last decade because it's real, it's honest, and I'm so grateful for that. She added, and I'm so grateful that it was included in the documentary because I think that it is important to see. And I think it's amazing that Selena welcomes honesty in her friendships, and I welcome that in my life too. For Raquel, getting over the backlash is quite simple, as she explained that her inner peace is quite unshakable. Despite fans' opinions, Steven said that she is secure in knowing how good of a friend she is to Gomez. When your inner light is strong and you're living a life with integrity, you sleep peacefully every single night. There's a peace that comes with you living your life with integrity and I really am secure in who I am. I know the kind of friend that I am, so anyone can say anything, but I have a peace that is unshakable. That's all for today's video. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Until then, check out the video showing on your screen. See you there.